How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi Belt and today we're hopefully going to be showcasing Charizard in this new team that I've made. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this one and with that being said, let's find ourselves a game. And here it is, my masterpiece team, with the Gramble, the Charizard, Latias, Tyranitar, Mamoswine, and Breloom. My opponent's got a pretty cool looking team as well, to be fair. He's got a Huntail, a Honchkrow, Nidoking, Hairy Armor, Entei, and a Purugly. Pretty cool looking team, to be fair. Um, looking at his team, I feel like Mamoswine's going to put in some major work in this game. Uh, Charizard might be alright, you know, um, not worrying about outspeeding certain things. You know, Air Slash for the Hairy Armor. Uh, Entei, you can switch, probably switch into a Sacred Fire, stuff like that. Um, not only Mamoswine though, Tyranitar looks like it'll do some work as well. Completely walls the Honchkrow, and it, well, it walls the Entei as well, and and the Perugly. So yeah, it walls about three of them, so I'm going to keep them around. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and anticipate a Perugly lead, so we can go for the Fake Out U-Turn stuff. So with that being said, I think what I want to do is lead off with the old Tyranitar. Okay, and the battle begins. I'm gonna lead off with the Perugly, which is, oh, shiny, oh, nice. I've never seen shiny Perugly, that's actually quite cute. I like the, the purpleness to it. As we lead off with the Tyranitar, because why not? I'm not really bothered about the fake out because it's literally barely even chip damage at this point of a Perugly, but it's whatever. So um, first of all, I wanna go up Stealth Rocks. We're not gonna get them up this turn because of the fake out, but you never know. They might actually just opt to go for U-turn as that's exactly what they do, because they realized Fake Out would literally do one HP damage and it's not worth it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and U-turn out of there. What's he gonna go into to take on my Tyranitar? Probably Hairy Armor, I'd say. Seems like a good one, Hairy Armor. Rikishi, what's that? Yeah, the Hairy Armor, cool. So we get the Stealth Rocks up, which is great. And now I just need to switch into something to take on said Hairy Armor. I need to watch out though, because Hairy Armor can get knock off. And if he decides to predict, if they decide whatever, to predict my um, Latias to come in to take a fighting move. They might just go for that knockoff. Uh, I think my best play actually is Gramble because not only do I get the Intimidate off, I'm also extremely bulky and I'm a fairy type so I resist both close combat and the knockoff so not too worried about that in that sense. So we get the Intimidate off. Gramble's one of them Pokemons where it's like I, I, I'm unsure whether I like the design if that makes any sense. <laughs> really unsure. So he goes for the knockoff, knocks off my leftovers so Clearly was expecting the Latias to come in, but that is not the case, I'm afraid. And looking at his team, I'm actually probably pretty safe going for a play rough. Because the only thing I can see him bringing in... Oh, should I go? Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. He's probably going to bring in Nidoking or Entei. So I should go for an Earthquake. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Going to withdraw. Hairy Armor. Cool. What are we going to go into? Nidoking. Okay, cool. That's, that's even better. So this thing is definitely weak to ground and it's also less bulky than Entei is. So this Earthquake should do a lot of damage. Boom. Let's go. And it KOs the Nidoking on the switch in. What a play. What a play. Get the crit. Don't think the crit mattered because believe it or not, Gramble has a base 120 attack. Um, I'm not sure if I have max attack investment, but I definitely EV'd it so they could take out certain things one shot with an Earthquake. He's going to switch into the Huntail. Huntail is another Pokemon. It's like a really cool Pokemon. I really like it, but I just can't for the life of me use it. But I am going to try and use it at some point. Um, right now, though, I'm anticipating a... Uh, what do you call it? A Shell Smash. So, I think the play here is to go for a Thunder Wave on the Shell Smash. I think that's what I should do. There's the Shell Smash. Nicely done. Um, now, obviously, it's a bit terrifying seeing this like that. We took out the uh, Nidoking, so I need to mark that off so I don't get confused later. Right, so, please tell me. Oh, no, it didn't. It's fine. I thought we just missed the Paralysis or something around a Lumber, but it's not. It's just a White Herb. I was looking away so I could mark my Nidoking off. It was completely... Whatever. Um, anyway, we've got the Paralysis off on the Huntail, so it is now crippled. Um, it'll still outspeed a lot of things. However, however, we'll still outspeed it with Latias because of the Choice Scarf. The only problem we've got now is, um, what do how, how do we switch in something here? I'm expecting a water type move. Or he might switch up and go for an ice beam. And if he goes for an ice beam, you know what? You've done your part. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Not yet. Not yet. You haven't. Not yet. You haven't. Um, 
Let's go into the Breloom. Breloom's not really doing anything for me this game, to be honest with you. What, we got Entei and Honchkrow? Yeah, yeah, it's really doing some work against them. Let's go into Breloom real quick, just to see what they're going to do. They go for the Waterfall. They're actually a physical variant, which is great to know. Didn't, still didn't do that much damage, and the Sandstorm subsided, which is kind of gross. Um, I just want to go for a Mac Punch, just to maximize the amount of damage that I've done to it before I bring the Latias in to finish it off. There we go. Goes for the Waterfall again. That's going to do solid damage. Take out Stretch, which is just a shame, but whatever. And now we can go into the Choice Scarf Latios. And he's got no more ground types on his team, so we are free to go for a Thunderbolt without having to worry about a switch in. So let's do just that. Go for the Thunderbolt. We do outspeed, thank goodness. I thought maybe I got the Paralysis thing mixed up because it was plus two speed. But no, I haven't. It's fine. Intel goes down. That's one threat out of the way. Boom. Mark it off on the little thing. Now, what they can bring in is varied. Alright, they're going to bring back in the Perugly. Obviously trying to get off that fake out U-turn type thing. Because I think Perugly would be able to take a Thunderbolt from my Latias. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and switch out. What can we switch into on the Perugly? I think we can go Tyranitar again. So let's do that. We'll go Tyranitar again. They might go for the U-turn straight off the bat. But I feel like they're going to go for a fake out to get the extra damage off my Latias. Which, you know, is not a big deal, to be honest with you. We've got the Tyranitar in to come and take any hit this guy wants to throw at me. As they go for a U-turn on the predicted switch. So that's perfect from their point of view. Um, Looking at his team. Hmm. Probably going to bring in the Hairy Armor here. That's not the issue that I'm looking at. The issue I'm looking at is what do we do with the hairy armor? Entei's switching in, never mind. Bring in Entei, why not? Get the stealth frog damage off, that's what we like to see. And the sandstorm. And the sandstorm, cool. Um, what I'm thinking is, we're probably going to die. Kind of want to, do I have a switch into in Entei? Not really, because he does have stone edge and he could just easily go for stone edge. In fact, he loses nothing by going for stone edge. So let's go ahead and just stay in. And we'll just go for our own Stone Edge. Probably going to go ahead and attack us. But yeah. <gasps> we avoided. Oh, and we hit the Stone Edge. Oh, my God. No way. Oh, we got so lucky there. We got so lucky there. Oh, that poor soul. All right, let's mark Entei off. I don't care. That's just the game. Can't control hacks. All right, now they're going to send in their Honchkrow. Honchkrow should be able to finish me off with a Brave Bird. So, not too fussed about that. I'm just going to stay in and go for a Stone Edge and let Tyranitar die. Because it seems like the best play. There's the Brave Bird. It's going to take us out, of course. Unless Tyranitar surprises me. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Of course you don't. Right. What can we go into now to take on the Honchkrow? Well, that's the real question. We've got the Moxie, which is quite frustrating. But he's also Life Orb, apparently. So that's something. I want to use a Honchkrow. Honchkrow is a badass Pokemon. Okay, so I think now is the time to go into Charizard. But no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. What we want to do is we want to go into um, Gramble instead. Uh, Gramble has no switch-ins right now with the play rough. So with that in mind, let's go for a play rough on this thing. They should outspeed and go for a Brave Bird. We might live thanks to the Intimidate. We don't live. That's annoying. But it's fine because we got the Intimidate off, which means we get to bring in the boy, the one and only Charizard. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Sucker Punch is a thing. I don't think the play is to bring in Charizard right now. I don't think it is. Because Thunder Wave is a thing. Uh, Sucker Punch is a thing. I think we're going to Mamoswine real quick because it's plus two attack. Sucker Punch is definitely going to one-shot a Charizard. Especially when it's Life Orb as well. I think now we're just going to Ice Shard and take out this Honchko, to be honest with you. He outspeeds us, goes for the Sucker Punch. We live! Oh! If we didn't live there, we'd be so screwed. We'd be so screwed. Go for the Ice Shard, take out the Honchko. Oh, dear. Luckily, I have got defensive EVs in this Mamoswine, I believe. I believe in a thing called love. Yeah, I've got defensive EVs so that I can live stuff um, from certain Pokemon. Uh, mainly Aqua Jets from Azumarill and whatnot. Um, now this thing comes in. It's burned. Probably got Bullet Punch. 
So I'm going to just go for an ice shard just to get some chip damage off on it. Because the bullet punch is definitely going to KO us. If they even went for that. Lost all my health from the ice shard, so we get to see what move he's going to use anyway. There's the bullet punch. And now, looking at the rest of his team. Perugly and, Char and uh, this thing. We should be able to just go into Charizard. Dravora, the Charizard. Nice and shiny. Right, let's go for a uh, air slash real quick. On the uh, hairy armor. We do outspeed, of course, because we're Charizard. Base 100 speed, great. And we're able to take out the hairy armor, which is perfect. So hairy armor goes down. And now all that they've got left on the team is that big fat cat. Big Garfield looking... Not Garfield looking, doesn't look anything like Garfield. But if it's shiny was orange, it would look like Garfield. I think they should have done an orange shiny, personally. Okay, so personally, I think all I need to do is go for an air slash. Should be able to take him out. But at the same time, what does Perugly get? What does Perugly get? Let's have a look. Perugly. Thick fat. So... Do we think he's got thick fat? I reckon it's got thick fat. Let's go for an air slash. Probably just going to go for a fake out. Or a body slam straight off the bat. Okay, no fake out. We live in that. We can go for an air slash. Charizard coming through. Take out the Perugly. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. I got a bit excited there, so I'm sorry if I'm not my usual, my usual calm self. Um, but Charizard's one of my favorite Pokemon. I know, cliche. Blah, 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 blah. It's everyone's favorite Pokemon. But I don't care. I love Charizard. So... That was a good game. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.